Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I will tell you how to use HLOOKUP formula and its exact and approximate variation. I'm sure you're gonna love this. I have taken a case scenario of us uh, of students with their ID numbers. So the students are ID number 5 Karan, ID number 10 Rambo, ID number 15 Superman and ID number 20 Hulk. So you know what kind of students I tackle now <laughs> and then we'll be tackling understanding the exact variation and the approximate variation of HLOOKUP formula and we'll be testing these four conditions. What if the lookup value is exact? What if the lookup value is below the minimum value in the table? What if it is greater than the highest value in the table? What is what if it is within the range like nine? All right. So let's start with the exact match first. All right. So here we go. Let's look up like any other formula in Excel. Usually starts with an is equal to sign is equal to H look up. Okay, I need to do it over here. So we are looking up value five, and it should return the result Karan. And this happens to be the name of my brother. Ha ha ha. Lookup value is this, and table array is the area where our data is located from which we need to look up the answer. So we are looking up answer based on the ID number, which is here, and the answer would be name, so which is over here. So this is a data table. All right, now comma two or comma, it is asking for a row index number. Now a row index number would always be in reference to the lookup value. So lookup value is situated over here. So let us consider it as row number one. So from where do we want to get our answer? From which row? This row. So if this is row number one, then this is row number two, right? So we'll write row number two, comma two. And we are doing a exact match zero is for exact match the answer is five current let us change it 10 15 is superman 20 is hulk all right so now let me test so we have already tested this situation wherein it is exact now since we are using the exact version of this formula we we we, we input zero in the end right so uh, none of these would work if you try to search a value below the minimum, greater than the highest or within the range. It will return an NA. Let me show you how. 21, higher than the highest. Below the range, 16. Um, it was within the range, sorry, this was 16. 4, below the range. Nothing came up because we are using the exact version of this formula. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to teach you how to use the approximate version so let us look up first of all let's look up for 5 itself is equal to h lookup lookup value is this comma where is my table array this is my table array in case you are working with large databases you can also look at the row number from here itself see it says 2r4c that means two rows and four columns so we are talking row number two comma now one which is approximate match so exact match works five karan karan all right now let us do below the minimum four sorry not there haha <laughs> four nothing works very true it won't work why like I'll, I'll tell you after this one more example greater than the highest 21 hulk within the range say 16 that is what we chose last time superman how does it work let me tell you what happens that when we are using approximate match we look up or as look up both how they how, how they work is they'll keep 16 in mind they will go over the data range is 16 greater than 5? Yes, move to the next. If 16 is 16 greater than 10? Yes, move to the next. Is 16 greater than 15? Yes, move to the next. Is 16 greater than 20? No, come back. So they will give you 
this answer. So let, let's take an example of say 9. Is 9 greater than 5? Yes. Is 9 greater than 10? No. So give the answer for 5. That is how it works. But when it comes to something below what is in the data value, data set, it won't. Is 4 greater than 5? No. We can't return anything. <laughs> that is how this works. Well, uh, this is something that I believe you would have to practice along. So I would recommend uh, downloading this file for free from mylesson.org. And I hope you like this video. So until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.